Egypt's new president, Mohamed Morsi, has been in office for only a few weeks, but he's wasted no time putting the U.S. on edge. On Friday, Morsi told a Cairo audience that he would do his best to gain the release of Sheikh Omar Abdel Rahman. He's the man behind the 1993 World Trade Center bombing in New York. The blind cleric is currently being held in a federal prison in North Carolina. He was convicted of masterminding the World Trade Center attack that killed six people. Morsi's attempt to win Rahman's freedom has reportedly left senior U.S. officials seething. Alessandro Bruno joins us now live in studio. He's the senior editor of ProEdgeWire.com and a Middle East expert. Did you Good see this kind of decision, Alessandro, coming? Certainly not as the first decision for a president to take. It doesn't seem to me like uh, belonging even in the top 100 priorities for Egypt right now, which is struggling with unemployment, um, all, a huge drop in tourism, and in fact, this is one of the uh, biggest fears that the um, liber liberal society in Egypt had w with a Islamist president. So what kind of message does this send specifically to the United States? Well, the, the message is that he's trying to appease his own constituency, um, more than the United States. I don't think he will push for it, by the way. I think this is more of a statement say to, um, to appeal to the, the kind of people who would have voted for the Muslim Brotherhood. In fact, he, he's trying to appeal to even more extremist elements because the Muslim Brotherhood among the Islamist forces in Egypt is the more moderate one um, and the one that has uh, formed the most uh, organized and best established. And so it seems to me, though, then it's a little bit of a curveball. Yes. In fact, I'm wondering wh wh what his advisors are, are, are thinking, because this is not the way you please your main... You, the, he knows that the main problem he faces now is appeasing the United States, which gives Egypt about $2 billion in aid and every year. And that's the question. Will that continue if these type of decisions are made? Um, I think it will, because... I, I, I'm quite skeptical about how much power Morsi actually has. Right. Uh, the army is still in control. There is no constitution in Egypt, and the army uh, very skillfully uh, disbanded parliament uh, before announcing the electoral results, uh, in probably in preparation for the fact they don't want this president to have any power. And um, this president technically doesn't have really that much power, but he's trying to appeal to his constituents to suggest the opposite. Yeah. For popularity for purposes, popularity, is there actually, is this even a realistic possibility? Well, he might appeal to a certain kind of Egyptian, but many will be appalled. And uh, as they were appalled when the first decision of the parliament uh, of um, uh, the post-revolutionary uh, Egypt, so-called revolutionary, because I don't think they actually had the revolution yet, uh, in February 2011, they released one of the masterminds of the assassination of President Sadat in 1981. And he actually was a parliamentarian. So they had terrorists in parliament already. They've done some of these, and this parliament has been disbanded, partly for that reason as well. So at this point, uh, keep, t keep tuned in, I guess, because who knows what decision might be coming next. Yes, and he, this president will have a hard time because he, there are expectations from Islamist groups that he will implement some of the promises uh, that they've made in, over the years, I see. perhaps m more uh, g laws aimed at uh, bringing Sharia into the, into the constitution or into the, the, the system, and at the same time, they they will be disappointed because the army will prevent that from happening. Right, the military holding the military most of the power, yes. and yet Morsi, quite mysterious, I guess, at this point. Yes, Alessandro Bruno, always good to have you with us. Thank Appreciate you. it. He's a Middle East expert and senior editor of ProEdgeWire.com.